Hello, I'm Audrey, and this week, in the lead up to Easter, I am reviewing some chocolate eggs. Um, but before I start and show you the eggs that I found, um, I thought that I would um, give you some facts about Easter. Um, because I've always wondered, I don't know if you've always wondered as well, or maybe you haven't and you've just accepted it, but why are Easter bunnies associated with eggs and not chickens, if that makes sense? And um, apparently the Easter tradition is um, comes from a pagan um, holiday um, that was celebrating the goddess of fertility and spring. And this um, Anglo-Saxon goddess was named Eostra and her um, symbols, the symbols that represented her were the hare and the egg. So that's apparently where we get Easter from. And then Christian traditions and celebrations have just been blended into that uh, as a lot of them have been. Um, and um, apparently the idea of the bunny rabbit bringing eggs as treats started in Germany uh, in the 16th century, so in the Middle Ages, um, uh, again, which is interesting how they turn that around. The Ukrainians were the first to decorate and paint uh, hard-boiled eggs, and so that's why we have um, colourful uh, foil-wrapped chocolate eggs, I guess. And um, apparently the first chocolate egg was created in the UK in 1873 in Bristol by Fry's. And I think a lot of you will know Fry's. Um, and then Cadbury's was uh, to follow with that two years later in 1875, making their chocolate um, Easter eggs. But interestingly, uh, pretzels were um, originally eaten to celebrate Easter, so more of a savoury snack. But I love that um, something sweet has been introduced, and so I have some chocolate Easter eggs for you today. I am um, going to start with these ones. So these ones I found in Aldi. And they are, just to continue with my uh, love of hot cross buns, these are mini hot cross bun filled Easter eggs. So um, I am going to open these up and we'll have a taste. They're lovely wrapped in um, gold and white striped foil. See what these are like. I've always wondered too, I don't know about you, why they have this like um I don't know how to describe it, like a, a dinosaur. You see that crackling on the shell? I don't really know why they have that crackling on the shell. Um I bet some of you could probably tell me why, but I've always wondered because I always thought they just made them look very reptilian for some reason. Anyway, here we go. Oh, I can already smell. They smell like spiced. It's really interesting, like cinnamon and maybe clove as well. It actually reminds me a bit of Christmas the warm spices. Mm. I'd probably have these for Christmas as well. Oh yeah, this smells quite nice. Definitely feel like there's clove or cinnamon as well in it. Mm. It's not, it's just a solid egg. It's just like a, the flavor of the, the smell of the spices. It's not, it's not filled with anything. Mm. Mm. Interesting. 
And if you don't like the cinnamon or like clove smell, you're probably not going to like these. But they're not bad. Um, still doesn't beat a hot cross bun, in my opinion. Next up, we have these. And these. Um, I was in the reject shop recently just looking for some supplies for Easter decorations and things like that and I came across these which sounded really interesting and then I saw the rest of them. There were four flavors that I that I found but I only bought three. The, um, the last flavor was like a salted caramel which I kind of feel has been like completely overdone now like get over the salted caramel. I think in Asian cooking they blend a lot of like salt and like sugar and um, uh, like lemon juice or lime juice together so you get like a, this kind of like richness of flavor but it was just like crazy the amount of things that came out like as salted caramel flavor. Um, it's just become a thing recently and um, yeah I feel like Asian desserts have always been that way. Anyway, so, um, so I saw this salty, crunchy popcorn flavor, and you can see they look pretty good. Um, these are made in Italy, so very much looking forward to trying these. Let's give these ones a go. Open these up. Kind of um, looks like one of those um, what are they called those like popcorn containers you get at the at the cinema. So there you go. Let's open one up and see. I'm gonna go through a lot of chocolate tonight. Hmm. Oh. It has a crunchiness in it. Kind of reminds me of like Rice crispy bits. It does have a popcorn um, smell. Not that strong, but yeah, definitely a popcorn smell. Looks like that on the inside. I don't know if you can see that there. So it does look very similar to, um, to what's on the front there. Hmm. The middle is like, um, it's a cream. Um, so they've described it as milk chocolate pralines filled popcorn flavored cream and extruded corn. So interesting. That's quite nice. Um, this next one I'm going to try. Oops. I should show you the um, Nutty Crunchy Caramel. And this one is milk chocolate filled with hazelnut cream and crunchy caramel. These have also a pretty, pretty foil coloring. I like how it also tells you what you're getting, you know, rather than kind of like a random chocolate Easter egg. Let's see what this one tastes like. So crunchy caramel and hazelnut cream. Mmm. Crunchy. Again, tastes a bit like Rice Krispies giving the crunch. And the hazelnut cream tastes a little bit like Nutella. A soft cream on the inside. Mm. Quite nice. And the last one. Biscuits Crunchy Brownies. Milk chocolate filled with milk, cream, brownies, and crunchy biscuits. So good. 
interesting flavors. I've never seen Easter eggs like this before. Oh, sorry, got to show you the wrapping. Pink and green wrapping on this one. Shiny pink and green. They don't have like the um the crackly kind of egg look they've just gone for swirls. Hmm. Cream. Bone. With like chocolate biscuit pieces. Bit warm. And boring this one. I think probably maybe it's a milk cream. Mm. Not as interesting as the other two. Mm. Otherwise, pretty good. Um, nutty crunchy caramel, salty crunchy popcorn, um, biscuits crunchy brownies, and these very aromatic aromatically spiced chocolate um, hot cross bun flavored easter eggs from Aldi. I think they also have other ones like Turkish Delight flavor and the more traditional chocolate flavors that you've seen around but these ones were the most interesting ones I saw at Aldi. So yeah if you're interested go to Aldi, take yourself down to the reject shop and find some of these eggs to try. I think they're on special at the moment in the week before Easter. So if you're still looking for eggs to buy that are slightly different from what you normally get, um, then head down and happy egg hunting. And I will see you next week with another treat to try. Bye.